We pick up this journey from quite a remote location, not really near to anywhere, Bettisfield. Uh, we travel down through some quite twisty turny canal. Moving on, just through the trees as visible is Colmere to our left. We then get through some quite congested canal, overgrown, twisty turny, and Blakemere appears through the trees on the right. Going through Alsmere Tunnel, we moor at the junction in Alsmere. Yeah, we're off again. Fair weather boating. Yeah, it was quarter to twelve. Just had a fly go straight to head, but oh, okay. <laughs> We've been on this lovely straight bit where Since lots yesterday. of boats choose to overtake us, like to yeah, or pass each other. I didn't get the cameras out, but that woman on that boat said, are you feeling a bit vulnerable? Yeah. I said, does it show? As the two boats squeezing past us. When there was enough. When they don't. Oh, I thought you were Why don't it. people anticipate? Just slow down. Please. We've only been going five minutes and we've just met a boat right there. <laughs> These things happen. He was coming through the bridge, we were passing the moored boat. Oh. Guess guess who ends up doing the reversing? Tom keeps on saying we're going to have to stop doing Christian boating. Because it, it never does us any favours, does it? Well no, what, what usually happens when we do Christian boating, I end up having to do all the locks because he's let someone pass. Do you know, you know when I said this is the place I wanted to yeah, stay. Yeah, it is. Because yeah. the, there's a caravan site up there. Remember them people we were talking to said they were on a caravan. Yeah. If we don't... Oh, oh well. we'll I, I was after this morning spot. We did it a couple of years ago. And we weren't sure where it, where it was. And now we're just passing it. We'll stay here on the way back. Anyway, got the adrenaline going already this morning. quarter to ten when some people are getting ready to go out and party we're in our pajamas and go bed oh come on it was, it was quarter to nine last night quarter to nine we went bed <laughs> oops we know how to party party i mean it's ethel's fault she goes to bed before us <laughs> johnny she, is that moving or not i don't know we better go because we've got a dilemma
got it. <laughs> Sorry, it was happening. The line golem's fed by the River Dee. And it, it's actually got a current on it. It's not, you know, it's not quite knuckle ride. But you, if you're sitting in the boat at night, you can see the leaves on the water slowly moving. I don't like countries. Especially, you know, when they're in. But the point is, when you're coming through a bridge and the, the water funnels through, you, you, if, if you don't rev up, you'll actually stop. I, I thought I'd just share that with everybody. It is lovely down here. We've just caused chaos through the side of that bridge. There's a 48 hour mooring on a tight bend with a garden mooring right the side of that bridge with a boat with all the scuffs in the world down the side of it and we've got two boats up our chuff there's one thing I can't stand it's anybody up my chuff so, so we, we, we tried let, we let the lovely private boaters through yeah but they were met by higher boaters coming in the opposite and, direction and can I just say the higher boaters oh my god really skillful oh yeah They're really good I was very impressed. Well, it's not very relaxing. No, and I don't want to do this stretch again. We said that the last time we came down. I'm not doing it again. Two no. years ago. I think, right, if I could do it with someone else, it might be okay. But the problem is, Mr. Anxiety attacks my anxiety, and then, yeah, the, we can't do this together. So we go back on the Trent for Mercy. Don't um, want to go back to Great Haven, do you? No, I want to, I do like where we're moored, I want to stay on the Langollen, but I don't want to go this far. You don't way. want to go to Langollen. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I, I don't want to go past Rembrie's. Just I'm use saying. it as a base. <laughs> on your Rembrie's got its funny turns. Oh, we better go. We just passed a woman there who's told us that there are a load of people shooting partridges and chucking dogs in the canal. I don't think she really meant that, did she? Well, that's what she said. She's advised us to put Ethel down, not dead, you know, down, down below. If anybody shoots at us, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I don't know, but I'm a bit nervous now. I'm not. We'll put that other camera on for evidence for the inquest. It would appear that the lady who told us about the shooting and the chucking dogs in the canal must have been um what's the kind word tom poorly oh poorly yeah i think Not she may have been bonkers no she may have been suffering from some kind of uh hello 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 <laughs> oh that's a good one Ethel's just tied me up legs together oh <laughs> no tom you need to undo this quickly Oh, that was a good one. He nearly died. Yeah. We've not seen any evidence. Well, well there was a dead pheasant. Yeah. We've we'd certainly been dead for some time. I think, um, how can I put this politely? I think that she might get off trying to say really random scary things to people. Yeah. Quite. Although we haven't seen any human beings. Oh, we, yeah, we saw them two walkers. I was going to say, they're probably all in the hedge, dead. Yeah, no, they're probably all in, in, in the hedge in ghillie suits. That's why we haven't seen them, they're all... It's a ghillie suit. It kind of looks a bit like they're in a hedge, it's like... Oh, okay. I've never seen one then, probably because they've been well camouflaged. Not yet, anyway. Anyway, we're just passing Blake May. You yeah, haven't seen one yet. Probably put it on there. <laughs>
miles more. This is where we're going to stay. We were going to go down now, but it's busy. I'm not seeing it. Oh, we're going to stay here. Beautiful. 